Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, uh, two big things. One, um, I'm work. Why well, I got a lot of these videos. I'm uh, currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and on top of that, I'm kind of, kind of groggy right now, so I definitely need to get a nap in here fairly soon. So I'm gonna try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I'm gonna talk about um, uh, I'm gonna talk about um, uh, gnomes and uh, gnomes on the vault weekend. Again, I'm trying to save me some time when working on this blog post, because otherwise I'd have to sit here and type a metric ton of stuff, and yeah, I, that would take me a very long time, so. And like usual, I'm going to have some music in the background. Um, Keys to Oniria, I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, Illusory Realms, or Illusionary Realms, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but yeah. So let me go ahead and fire that up. All right, rewind it. Hold on. Okay, it looks like the music is frozen. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, in. Okay, yeah, I did show the album art. Die. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and get into it. Um, so to start with, in uh, in almost any battle in this game, there's gonna be a small chance that uh, one of these guys, uh, these gnomes here, I believe they're called battle crashers. Like uh, when a battle starts, all of a sudden one of these gnomes will. Battle crash one of the one of the uh, opposing troops out of there and replace it with himself. And they um they all drop they all, they they all drop various things, you know. You defeat the team like treasure gnome. You'll you'll leave some random treasure. You you defeat the you if you defeat the uh, team with soul gnome in it, you'll get uh, extra souls that kind of thing. So well. And then, um, I guess four, four in particular, um, there are actually band members, um, Baz Bonebeater, he's the drummer, uh, Cindy Savage Lips, she's the vocalist, um, Freddie Fer Freddie Fret, Freddie Fret Fiddler, he's the guitar player, and then, where's Hoagie? Hoagie said, oh, why wouldn't he be in here? Or either that or apparently I don't own him, but... Here, let me... Yeah, and then Hoagie Humbucker, he's the bass player. So... For this weekend, those four in particular are the big ones. So... Let's go up here, events... So, like I said, this weekend, uh, Treasure Vault, there's going to be an increased chance of, uh, of fighting these kind of gnomes in, uh, in in most battles. And then on top of that, I I believe for every for every ten gnome for every ten gnomes that you defeat, you'll get a you'll get what's called a vault key. And vault keys, yeah. I, and I think um, I think the number increases. Like every time you get a key, the gnomes uh, required to get an additional one increases. But yeah. But getting um, getting gnome key or getting vault keys, excuse me, will unlock access to these areas here, where you'll get a whole bunch of rewards. Uh, I'm, I don't really have time to show you how this works, and the kind of rewards you get and stuff, so, but let me, um, let me do go over here. So, one item in particular is the Noma Palooza. If you, um, if you defeat, if you defeat a band member, like as it says here, Verse three: If you defeat Hoagie Humbucker, 
in one of your uh, battles. Then he'll drop verse three. You defeat Freddy Fre Fred Fiddler, the guitarist. He'll drop verse four. Cindy, uh, verse two, etc. But once you get one of each from the band members, you'll be able to craft what's called a Loma Palooza, where for 15 minutes, um, it'll be nothing but gnomes. Nothing but gnomes for 15 minutes in most battles. So, this, um, this weekend is, um, uh, this is gonna be one of those rare times where it's gonna be all about quality or quantity over quality. So, uh, let me, I'll pick this one. So, by default, although I kind of deviate from this after a while, the best battles to do would be difficulty one, the super easy ones, and then for the team, if you if you can uh, if you can swing it, um, black manacles. I think it's a. I want to say it's a rare it's a rare weapon. I mean. I got this like a long time ago. I don't remember exactly where I got it, but you know, Black Mantles, Rowan. Um, if you do the quest in the Kingdom, I believe, Forest of Thorns, you'll automatically get her. So, uh, Mirage Queen. In the Underworld, I, I want to say if you complete the quest in a Kingdom called Sunken Fleet, you'll get her. Elemental Allies start with 50% mana. And then Lucky Leprechaun. I think you get him by random chance. You know, he starts with full mana and he blows the board, so. So, but this is. Again, I kind of deviate from this. So you use Leprechaun to blow the board. Because some of the the way some of the loot drops on here, or with some of the loot drops, the difficulty of the content doesn't matter. You're always gonna get the same amount. Like I think with me, I'm always gonna get at least 12 souls, no matter what battle. So, and with uh, class experience, I think there's exceptions. I believe PvP being one of them. Like you're always gonna get. What XP in these kind of in um these kind of uh this kind of content here? So, but like I said, um, this is the ideal, this is the ideal, ideal situation or the ideal content you want to do. I'm really having trouble with English right now. So. Pull the board. And then, um. You also want to have a. You also want to have an appropriate class in here, too. Like in this case. Um, DJ Screw recommended I use the Monk class, so it's what I'm going with. Leveling him up as well. And then, Black Manacles, I forgot to mention, but it comes in handy if for some reason uh, I mean, if you get a bad board blow and you don't get deadly squat out of it, or don't get deadly squat from matches, you don't get, you know, Orion's not up at all, then maybe is there, there's that chance that you can get some blue, some, some brown and purple matches to get this off, so it just gives you an additional option. Yeah, like here. So, it, it ain't gonna matter, it's, I'm just looking for matches, not boss battles. So, 
So yeah, like that. But again, this is the ideal content you want to be doing for Vault Weekend. It's, again, it's quantity over quality. But I'll, I'll do one more. So yeah, but like I said, um, I'll do I'll do this for a while. Or let me let me back up a bit. Some people some people uh, can literally just go all day and all night doing nothing but that content. Whereas me, I gotta I gotta break off at least for a while and go over here and do some PvP. Now, again, it takes longer, but. With the with the kind of group with the kind of group that I got, and uh, you guys have might have seen my uh, my video on this my OK Boomer Doomer group. So, but again, doing stuff like this takes longer, but it's not like a it's not gonna be like this super long climb out of the abyss, or it's not gonna take like forever or a day or anything like that. Sometimes battles take a bit longer, or, or sometimes I end up having to bail out of them or something like that if the fight's not going my way. But, so yeah, but for me, it just, I can't sit there and do that. I couldn't just sit there and do nothing but difficulty one battles, like, all freaking day, like, but like, like I said, some people can, you know, it's kind of understandable, I mean, it's Vault Weekend, and from what I understand, it's... I wasn't given an exact time frame, but this is it. This is all we're going to get for a very long time, so I can totally understand somebody just trying to get in as many difficulty one battles as possible. But again, I I don't have the patience for that. I got to, like, mix it up, you know, do some PvP like you just saw. You know, but on the other hand, too, if, um, if I didn't have... If I didn't have this kind of team, chances are I probably wouldn't be doing PvP at all. But I got a group here that could um that can win battles fairly quickly. At least the ones that are winnable. Something like this would be kind of gray area. Yeah. But... You know, and sometimes I got to shift over. In fact, in fact, I had kind of a bad experience during the uh, during today's stream. This particular kingdom missed the scales. I'm basically forced to have this group in here cuz they're putting um they're putting troops that are impervious that are immune to all status effects except curse. So, I'm basically forced to have this team in here cuz I have to get that imperviousness taken off of them. Cuz I need to I need to be able to untangle the top target otherwise He's gonna get killed in like one or two hits, so. But yeah, and then, this kinda went a bit over long and all, but. But once again, talking about Noma Palooza, what, there's a, once this goes off, once you start, 
Dang, you've gotta be 100% focused for the next 15 minutes on getting as many battles as possible. So this, in this, we all agree. There is no fucking around during this 15 minute period. You gotta get in as many battles as possible. That means definitely difficulty one type battles. So. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's gonna do it. Um, I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say, so I'll just go ahead and get this uh, video uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, I gotta let some of those go. Okay. So, but otherwise, um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.